Hey party people, I'm Kelly. And I'm Bean. And we're Kelly Bean's Bees. We're first time beekeepers here in Central Virginia. And today we are diving into this double deep box that we have. We're trying to figure out, do we have a queen or not? So if you missed it, go back and rewatch all the vids. Like, subscribe, and comment. <laughs> wow, you're asking a lot, aren't you? Yeah. Um, anyway, <laughs> so if you missed it, um, we... Or do you want to tell them about this hive? Like, a, just a quick... Them. Okay, so this was two separate hives that we had down here. Um, and then one of them didn't have a queen. They had queen cups. Yep. And then the other one, same thing, right? So, one of them came from the cookie dough hive. Oh, yeah, we split. We split them because we found queen cells. So, we brought the cookie dough queen over there, brought all of the queen cells into this box. And... This they didn't end up has queen brood. Brood? What? Does it really? No, it's not. No. It's just resources. Yeah, it's hot. When you pulled it out, it was a different color, so I was excited. Yeah. And it was in the, like, circle pattern. They shouldn't have brood. <sighs> anyway. Darn. So, the cookie dough queen's hive didn't end up, their queen didn't end up coming back. We didn't end up getting any eggs, anything like that. So we had, we split down the chunky monkey hive because they also had queen cells. And so we went ahead and put this the This one's split. resources and there might be a queen cup. I don't know. Come there on. are eggs in this. Really? Okay, really? then my, my having brood was not. Well, no, you won't see brood, but you'll see eggs. Um, that's not a queen cup or anything. That might be, there's two of them there. Um. We'll probably crunch wish those. I don't know. Well, we can come back to it. Yeah. You Maybe. can remember which one it is. Oh, did you get stung? No, I didn't get stung. Oh. <laughs> but I did kill a bee. It's okay. I killed yeah, one too when I got stung. Well, really, she killed herself, but, mm -hmm. you know, she let herself go. Okay. Having eggs in What here, number is that? Uh, four. Well, it's the yellowest frame look yeah. that we have at the top we'll come back to it all i right. just want to make sure we've got eggs all throughout the hive before i do anything drastic drastic pop. Well, i've got eggs in here too okay let us see dude oh sorry you might be able to see them down there where am i looking like <gasps> in the middle make sure the camera's looking don't just sorry. you look i think i don't know if you can see it on the camera i'm sorry kelly's not the best camera lady wow but she's the camera lady i got so I'm gonna love her. That's anyway, kind of right? mean. Wow. Well, I got demoted to camera lady when I got to be allergy, so. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. I was got really. Eggs all through here. Okay, well, so... great. Can we do a dance? Well, let's not dance yet. Ooh, ooh, there's Michael. Hey, Mikey, dance. Well, hold, hold ooh, on. Ooh. Okay. I don't know if we want to dance yet. Why? So. Why wouldn't we not dance if we saw eggs? Well, why else could we um, have we eggs? We could have a link worker. So, I don't think we should have a laying worker, but we did put a hive that was getting close to having laying workers with the hive that had queen cells. So, theoretically, those eggs could be from laying workers, but mm -hmm. I don't think that they would be just because they should already have larvae at this stage. And I haven't seen any larvae. I've only seen eggs. So, this is just a resource frame. Lots of nectar, pollen, that sort of thing. Very nice. And normally, the way that the bees lay out their hive is that the resources are up above and the brood is down below. Brood nest is what they call it. Yes. So. Look that term up. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to hopefully show it to you. <laughs> yeah. So, it makes sense to have Ooh. a ton of resources like They're that. They're drawing it out on this side. Oh, yeah. Making me proud. They're making it pretty big, but that's fine. I'm just going to leave it. The next frame doesn't really have much drawn out. So they are kind of full up here. So I did see those queen cells or queen cups. I didn't really look close enough to see if they were cells or not. I don't know if there's anything in them. Nothing's drawn there. Okay. So. It was the yellowest frame we said. Yeah. That one. I'm probably going to leave that. We'll come back to it after we inspect the bottom. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> after these messages. No. From the Kelly Beans Bees Network. Just kidding. We don't have a network. Do you ever have problems? All the time. Well, <laughs> if you vote for me, you can have even more of those problems. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, no thanks. Oh, okay. All right, so Bean's pushing all this back together. He's gonna put it all back together so then we can dive into the bottom box and hope that we see a brood nest. <laughs> well, right? we've seen eggs up here, so we know that something's laying. Well, we hope to see a queen or yeah. what else? If we see the queen, that's a great way of knowing that we have a queen. Um, but, you know, we don't truly need to see that. Sorry, I'm trying to find a corner where I can It's okay, I just it. ran into this one over here. Good thing I had pants on. <laughs> All right, so they use propolis. Well, they really glued this one down. Also stepped on my uh, frame rinse. Hope you didn't break it. I don't think I did. I don't know where your smoker is. I feel a little um, overwhelmed with bees. They're just everywhere. So, like we said earlier in our other videos, if you haven't watched them yet, it's after work time on, what is today, okay. Tuesday? This is going to be a heavy box. Yeah, you got uh, it. It very much is. Is that going to be not falling over? hope so. Okay. Okay. Your smoker's behind you. Thanks. It's probably out. Yeah. So, if you didn't watch our last videos, I ran out of dry pine needles last week. Sad face. And it rained all weekend, so... I had some grass clippings that I had collected, but they're wet. So, we're diving in. Oh, okay. We're just going to have to be quick and careful. Quick and slow. Mm. Anyway, so what I was saying, it's after work on a Tuesday. And so that means that um, mm -hmm. there's lots of bees here at home because they have like glued this stuff. Yeah, I was trying to move that over, and when I did it, it bounced. Nothing. It bumped them. Um, anyway, so all of the bees have come home because the foragers are not working anymore because their work day is over. They're starting to draw that very, very slightly, but not enough to pull it out and actually show. So that's why all these bees are here. If I back up a little bit farther, it's because, well, I'm a little nervous. So... This is one of the old frames that we had, uh -huh. and they're working on drawing it out, it looks like, as well. Cool. Put a lot of empty frames over here. Hmm. I think we split, like, eight frames into two this boxes. This is resources. So. Yep, a lot of resources. Um, we do have a couple of empty cells here. It's not a lot, but there's at least some room to lay and that sort of thing down here. Okay. That's been one of our biggest problems is getting the bees to draw out the foundation and actually have room to do stuff in. Which, it takes a lot of resources to draw cone. I think it's something like, I don't know if it's completely true, but people say it takes something like six pounds of honey or nectar. I think it's honey is what they say, so more nectar than that, to draw out one pound of wax. Mm. I just see resources on this side. Um, yeah, that's sort of what I'm seeing. I've got some pollen, some nectar, some capped honey. Same thing over here. This is another one of those frames that's really dark, so I was trying to get the sun into the cells to see it. Um, but I don't see anything down in there, which is fine. Yeah. Are they drawing anything on the bottom there? Can you tell? Um, it just, it looks like just normal. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. I don't know about that, I mean. That one was normal. Okay. I think I just flicked the B accidentally. Yeah. I was about to say, do you want your smoker lit? No, I'm okay. Okay. I've only got a couple more frames to go through and then we're done for the day. That's the last hive to look at. And then you're taking me out to dinner. Oh, okay. Where are we going? Oh, I don't know. Where do you guys want to go to dinner? <laughs> Let us know down in the comments where you would have gone to dinner. There is brood on this side, but door. it's not like a great pattern. Oh, yeah. Pattern. That's like old stuff. That's nothing new. We have larvae in these cells. Can you tell what kind of larvae? Um, no. Because they're young. Dun, which... dun, dun. That's when on the piano they play the sad music. Well, no, not necessarily. Because young larvae could still be fine. 
because, you know, it takes time, or it takes a variable amount of time for the queen to get mated, depending on, like, how long it takes the queen to become mature enough, the conditions outside, so, like, temperature, if it's raining, that sort of stuff throughout the time after she hatches, all of that. So, theoretically, like, she could have been quick and been able to start laying pretty early could she have gone next door to find a boy or she would have gone far away no she goes far away she goes further than the drones they really don't want to mate with the next door neighbors with their own stock yeah so they try to go I far away the drones they can't go super far so this is are you leaving that comb at the bottom yeah probably okay. for now there's not a ton down there and they need room to lay stuff so We've got eggs and larvae in here. Um, we just don't know what kind it is. Yeah, I want to find, I want to see if I can find another frame that has eggs on it. And I want to see where the eggs are in the cells. Ooh. So a couple of things you can kind of tell if you have laying workers or if Buddy, you have- I feel like you might need to smoke them. I don't see any brood on this side. I've got larvae all through here. I'm scared now of hitting this, um, being put this right beside me. I'm allergic to bees now, you know? So what I'm looking for is eggs that are planted all the way down at the bottom of the cells, which I think is what we've got. Which, what does that mean? Why is the bottom? So, if you look at a queen, which I don't have any queens to show you. I'm very sorry I haven't found her yet. Um, they're... Wow, words. The abdomen. Woo! Thank you. Um, the abdomen on a queen is much longer than a worker bee. Yeah. So, if a worker bee starts laying eggs, a lot of times they can't actually put the eggs down at the very bottom of the cell. They end up putting it up on the sidewall somewhere or like kind of in a weird spot. Uh -huh. So that's one way you can tell if you have laying workers or not. Uh -huh. If the eggs are right on the side of the cell. And we not haven't on the seen bottom, that. I don't believe so. Then you might have laying workers. But if you've got them at the bottom of the cell, more than likely you have a queen. Hmm. So I think this is going to be the last frame that's drawn out or has activity. So I'm going to go ahead and check this one. Hopefully these bees will slide out of the way for me without, you know, attacking me. Yeah. They are coming up though. Mm -hmm. I probably do need to light the smoker again. Hmm. Can you hand me that lighter? And then you can make small talk with our people <laughs> as you get close and show them the bees. All right. So here are the bees. So they're coming back out um, because they don't feel like they're in danger, right? Yeah, and they've got so, all the smoke away, so they don't think there's a problem. Anymore. Right, so when we smoke them, they go down into the hive, and they put their little heads into the resources and drink up, because they're like, ah, we're being attacked, right? Mm-hmm. Well, not attacked, but Something's they think here. That there's a fire. And because of that, they want to, A, try to fan as much smoke away as possible, so that, you know, there's not smoke all through the hive. And then, B... They also are trying to kind of cower in a space and hope to survive whatever the fire is. So they take in a bunch of resources so that if they do survive, but most of the hive gets destroyed, then they can continue to rebuild and they just try to wait it out. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So now they feel like they're all right. And so beans hopefully, yep, got some smoke and you can see them immediately going down well you can also maybe. see the smoke going down i guess they were going well i think i ran out of smoke so now i'm just blowing oh, air now on they're the bees. they're on your thing mm -hmm. i see that Oof. all right so that's not the best but no we need to get better smoker fuel soon i was hoping that i could use what we had now that we're out of pine needles but apparently not so this is just resources on this side it's pollen nectar that sort of thing and pretty much the same with this side i'll show you this side so that you can see i say things like oh yeah there's resources over here but 
a lot of people probably don't even know what that means. Now, so. hopefully you can see the glistening there. So mm -hmm. that is nectar. That's and then been all the little in. colored spots are pollen. Yep. Perfect. All right. And there's not much in this other, not much happening on this other frame over here. So, so what are you going to do? Well, right now, nothing. Um, are you going to crush anything in the top? You're going to wait, see, she had a few queen cells. We will go ahead and crush those. Um, yeah. because what if it's a laying worker though? Well, if it's a laying worker, they wouldn't be able to do anything with those queen cells anyway. Okay. Um, but I don't really want the bees to swarm. They've got some space. I'm hoping that they'll continue to draw out, but we literally just got this queen. So I'm going to go ahead and crush those. Yeah. And then next week we'll actually be able to next weekend, I should say. Yeah. We'll be able to come on back out and actually see for certain if we've got a queen or a laying worker. Else. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, thanks for being here. We will see you guys soon. We're going to put it back together. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and crunch those queen cups or cells that we saw above and go to dinner and then go to work and do it all again tomorrow. Well, not the bee part or the dinner part, but the work part will yeah. be again. <laughs> all right. Thanks for being here and we will see you guys soon. Bees, Bees out. out.